Hello everyone and welcome back to Realism Overhaul Sandbox in Kerbal Space Program 1.12 where I'm going to see if Strata Launch can carry the Orion Carrier plane back from the Bahamas all the way to Tampico. This seems like a stretch. If we see the fuel consumption here it says two hours and one minute. I don't know what altitude that is. Of course fuel gets consumed at a different rate at higher altitudes and I don't know what speed we're actually going to be able to get to. Uh, so those are the question marks. Uh, this is bound to be a very long mission for me, though I'll cut it as short as possible for you guys. Uh, we, yep, I, I don't know. This is, of course, empty. Uh, it would be landing empty, and then we'd empty all the fuel, and it's going to be tough to get off the ground. It's going to be tough to do a lot of things. Uh, yeah, okay, let's see what happens. It's possible that Strata Launch might be able to carry a little bit more. It's not fully fueled right now. Uh, it's a little bit underfueled. Technically, its maximum takeoff weight is supposed to be 589 tons. Right now, we're only at 475. Uh, you know what? Let me just try it with the max load and then see. Well, maximum fuel load anyway. It's supposed to be able to carry a 250 ton external payload. I don't know about these spare parts. I don't think we need that. Okay, 521 tons. Still not, you know, maxing it out or anything. So the real engines get 252 kilonewtons. These only get 203, it looks like. So we'll have to see whether that has any effect on things. And currently, the wing doesn't have any flaps. So that's not great. Okay, on we go. Can we take off? <laughs> There's the Bahamas. Uh, well, at least what I have of it. Now I still haven't fixed the scenery. I'll have to make sure to do that. Let me just disable atmospheric autopilot. I'm I'm just gonna go to the end of the runway and then turn. Rotate, I mean. Okay. Pulling up. Okay, we're off. Whew. Just barely gear up. And yeah, I still haven't fixed the animations on the control surfaces. I need to do that. Yeah. Long to-do list here. Always a long to-do list. Let me try atmospheric op out now. Oh, okay, don't plunge into the surface now. No, seriously, don't plunge into the surface. Okay, it's doing bad things. <laughs> um, you know what? I almost trust Smart ASS more. Um, what I want is surface pitch zero. Oh gosh, uh, when I have myself hovering over smart ASS it does not capture my controls okay um, so that's a negative okay maybe I'll have atmospheric outpot temporarily 340 pitch say six enter roll zero um, more pitch more pitch okay no that doesn't work okay off Okay, that off as well. <laughs> Maybe SAS. I, I just It's come down to SAS folks. SAS is the thing. Now there's always the possibility that we could make multiple stops along the way. But it is the Gulf of Mexico, so you have to go pretty far out of your way for that. And that costs more. Trying to set some pitch trim. And that's not working. Okay. Maybe I should use atmospheric all pods, more advanced functionalities. Uh, it suddenly jerks down, which is not what I want. I want the cruise flight controller. 
Okay, maybe 10. Okay, now we have a waypoint. Is it not gonna tell me the heading to the waypoint? Well, anyway, that says 265.6, so fine. Or maybe I should just point to the waypoint. That's fine. Okay. Hit the side magically holding that level. Alright. I think we've got cruise. Though it sort of wiggles a bit. Maybe I should just have it hold the heading. Doesn't seem to be climbing at 10 meters per second. Don't know what FPA is. It keeps going up and down on here. It's not really using as much control authority as it possibly could. Smart ASS is not on. So I'm wondering why it just doesn't pitch up more decisively since it's supposed to go 10 meters per second. Well, let me just increase the number and see if that actually leads it to do more. Not so much. Oh, now it's going to 10 and 11. Okay, well, well, now, now you're going up. Okay, fine. I don't know what leads to that. No, no, not that. No, 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 no 10. Well, it can totally pass 10 if it wants to, but then when I say 10, it doesn't want to do 10. Let me try Fizz Warp. It's gonna be a long trip. All right, passing by Florida. We're on this end of the floor of Florida right now, and well, we seem to be missing some Florida keys here, but well, it doesn't want to go up. <laughs> it, it's going at a decent clip right now and accelerating, of course, but it doesn't want to go up. Even though I've got vertical speed 10 meters per second. This doesn't like to go up, and I took a lot of time warp too. Maybe time warp will help? Not really. Well, this is how it's going. I'll see how far we get. And maybe I'll try and create the appropriate engines instead of using something out of the box. Uh, I'll just copy these as a model. But Rename it with different stats. Alright, status update. We're basically a third of our way through the fuel, and it's actually looking like we'll get there. If you take a look at this, I mean, it looks like we're more than a third of the way through the flight, doesn't it? So, yeah, it's been long. Uh, we're through an hour as far as the stage time, quote unquote, and we've flown an hour and 22 minutes. Uh, so, the stage time is not really correct, but that's what makes it interesting to test, I guess. I didn't expect us to get through this much. I would have liked to be going faster, but we're at 210 now, 210 meters per second. I have it holding at 5,400. I'm sticking to the map view because whenever I go into flight view, um, uh, it takes a lot more of my graphics card capabilities in order to do this and draws more power. So. Considering how long this is, I'm just going to save the power. I'm going to be eco-friendly about this. It's much better to just stick to this view. But there's hope here. There's hope here. One third of our way through as far as propellant is concerned. Alright, just past halfway through the fuel and as you can see, well over halfway through the flight. And looking at the situation, I should have just, just gone with the original fuel load, which was 140 kiloliters, I think. I mean, that might be cutting a little bit close, uh, 60 kiloliters less than what we have right now. But we would have started off going faster as well, and maybe had an easier time climbing. I've held the 5.4 kilometer altitude the whole way so far, because uh, 
trying to fidget with it is tough. Uh, but maybe it can climb higher now that it is lighter, of course. The reason we're going faster and faster is because, because we're going lighter and lighter. The initial cruise speed seemed to be something like Mach 0.5. Uh, now, where the heck is far? Oh, far doesn't show up on the map view, I guess. Okay, uh, 0.667 now. So, yeah. So there it is, continuing to cross the Gulf of Mexico. And now I have to look towards figuring out how to land it safely. So, that's going to be fun. Another reason why I thought maybe I should have started with a lighter fuel load, of course. That would have made it easier. But we'll see what we see. A valiant effort by Strata Launch to carry this thing across. After all, Strata Launch's uh, payload capacity is 250 tons, but that's not going this kind of distance, right? I mean, it's supposed to get it up to altitude, release it, and then come back down, not ferry it all over the place. All right, going through some clouds here, and we are 100 kilometers away. Only the Ryan Carey plane has the uh, brakes on. Okay, well, we're going to have to think about descending very, very, very carefully now. Um, let me go to vertical speed minus 4. Not 40, minus, minus... Or no, uh, for some reason I okay there yeah I had weird other numbers there. Well, it seems much happier controlling this now. Much more accurate. Well, I think we should probably fall down now. It Mach 0.75 basically. And yeah, the original fuel load would have done it. Okay, let me see if it can turn properly. Whoa, oh boy. That's a lot of speed being lost. Okay. I don't think, uh, okay, um, uh, be careful, okay, coming through the clouds here, oh, or not quite, gosh, they cast quite a hard shadow on this thing, it's practically stealth, well, anti-stealth actually, with the clouds being white. Okay, well, I think I'll take standard fly-by-wire now. The ailerons do cause a lot of drag. I don't know why the fly-by-wire, it seems to have it level and then it starts dipping down all the time. The, uh, it's progressive, it just sort of progressively dips it down. Oh, and we probably shouldn't have the landing gear on the Orion carry plane out. Gosh. Okay, um, the airbags don't want to come out. Great. Yep, pressing the air brake button does not help. Okay, a little bit dark on approach here. Uh, come on, go down. Oh boy, I'm using all the rudder I can get.
Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Need to work on the landings. I'm gonna get all floaty over here. Guess I can use wheel steering. Ooh, where exactly is the collider here? But yeah, we had 60, more than 60,000 liters left, so the original fuel load of just 140,000 liters was good enough. I should make my own runway thing. I keep using this shuttle landing facility runway. Anyway, I'll try and get it to a more respectable position here. But it worked. The Strata launch was able to carry the Orion carrier plane all the way over here. Okay, so with that result and uh, dust or smoke clearing up, I will say thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below, and I'll see you next time.